You've got to get mad. You've got to say, I am as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. Hold on to your seats because this is the most amazing video you are ever going to see about Department of Justice allegations about Medicare genetic test fraud. It's actually a simple story. Last month, the government released two websites that have shocking interactions with each other, and we'll show you how to see them. On July 20th, Department of Justice issued a press release and court documents on $1.2 billion of healthcare fraud. They called this telemedicine fraud, but they're not worried about the $45 telemedicine visit. They're worried about the $10,000 of genetic tests and the $4,000 electric wheelchair ordered during the call. You can look up each of some two dozen court documents on the right and read about each case. Here's part two. Almost the same week, on July 27th, Medicare released every payment to every doc and lab for 2020 in Medicare Part B. So you can list every lab involved in the DOJ case from July 20th and then come here and look up exactly what they were paid by Medicare, at least in 2020. I provide the links below, but basically you get a cloud database of 10 million lines, which you can quickly filter by CPT code and then export like Excel. And I actually provide all the genetic test codes ready for you in a 3400 line database in Excel, which you can download. This is not any real lab. It's a made up name, altered data, altered city, but it is the pattern. This lab got $21 million and 95% for tier two codes. Half of that, $10 million for code 81408. This is full sequencing of rare genes, like genes that cause epilepsy in babies. And note they did about four full length rare genes on every patient. Note that they sequenced all the genes 8104 to 81408, four or five times each per patient. And this is not a real Google Street picture of the Medicare $20 million genetics lab, but it's a mock-up of what you'll often see. Now, if you take the tier two code payments, whether named in a DOJ case or not, you get this pie chart for 2020. Over half the dollars went to Texas, then Florida, then Louisiana. Now, Medicare folks will quickly realize that this is a roadmap to the states under the Novitas and First Coast MAC jurisdictions. Almost no tier two payments went to other MACs, just about zero. And here you can see the timeline. There was little spending in 2017 when these were unpriced codes. And in 2018, when the PAMA process priced these tier two codes, there was an explosion of use, especially uncontrolled use of code 81408, an uncontrolled code paying $2,000 for each rare gene sequenced in grandma. So overall, the story is not good with towards a billion dollars going into these channels. But you can read about the codes paid and exactly where and exactly how in exhaustive detail with a handful of links I've given you down below. Thanks for watching. I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. Things have got to change. How many stations does this go out?